guys, it's Mandy here from Bean Munchy. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you about logo design and how it's important to your business. It's not something that should be rushed. Um, in our industry, we've had many people who have come along with the logo, who are ready to start their website, and it come they come along with a logo that they've made on a online free logo maker. This is really something I really would not suggest to do. Um, it is your business brand at the end of the day. It's the first impression that you're giving your clients. If it looks tacky, honestly, it's not the greatest impression to give to start your business. It's it's where your brand begins. To create a logo design, it does need expertise. It does require skill. It does need knowledge. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a few important notes or pointers that I think you should include. If you are gonna make your own logo design, there's nothing wrong with creating your own if you really want to, but don't rush it, don't make it within five minutes because you're not sure what to do with it, you're not sure what font to use or what what type to use. After all, a picture paints a thousand words, so your logo is vital to your business and it's probably one of the first things that you're gonna start with if you're new to the trade. So I definitely recommend some of the tips and tricks that I'm about to give you. Obviously, everyone's opinion is different. Some people might come out with various other sort of suggestions, but these are some of the ones that I would say you should definitely take care of when it comes to creating your logo. So if you're new to the trade, I know it can become quite overwhelming in terms of what you want to do with your logo design, especially if you're starting from scratch. You'll need to think about how you're going to represent the brand, product, or even the character of the overall logo. And if you're updating an existing logo, do you need to change the direction altogether in what your logo represents or are you literally just trying to make a statement with that logo? So I'm gonna use a couple of examples in this video just to show you the tips and tricks that I'm trying to sort of explain. Um, with this one here that we've got Bright Clean, it's for an existing plum, uh, customer whose website is also now live. Um, with this logo that we've designed, keep it simple. Don't overdo it. So don't make it too complex. It doesn't need loads of colours, big bold fonts, usually one icon and the company name will say it all. So exactly what we've got here, we've got the one icon, which is here. And we've got the company name, which is here. It just needs to be memorable and easy on the eye. This is easy on the eye. It represents a brand. So obviously you can see it's a cleaning company. On the right hand side, we've got this cleaning tool. And you can see how sort of we've merged it into the logo. So it looks like it's being cleaned across like a window sort of cleaner. Point number two, make it something to remember. A good catchy company name like Be Munchie will do that. But in this case, I'm not using our example. I'm using the one right in front of you, which is a shake of essential, sorry. So it's just two words. It's nothing extravagant. It's short. It's simple. It's easy to remember. The second version that we've got on the left hand, sorry, the right hand side is the slogan that we've also put on the logo. So there is two variations for this one, which is always a good idea, but nothing that's too vital until you've got your main logo ready and fit for purpose so if you do have to for example the the logo that's on the left hand side shaker essential is great for a storefront it's great for your website design for example leaflets and so on and the right hand side one with the slogan would be great for something like the back of a jumper or a back of a t-shirt the slogan will fit nicely around that so having two variations is always great, but aim to get your first one done with a company name that's short and something that's easy to remember. Number three, make it relevant and versatile. This is definitely relevant. So Ella Picard Racing, you know it's to do with horse racing. It's straight to the point again. This is what you want. It needs to be simple. There's not a lot going on and it's relevant. It literally tells you straight from the, straight from point blank, this is what she does. Point number four would be colours. 
Um, don't ever use more than three. You can use more, but it's something that we definitely would not recommend. Um, personally, myself, I would not recommend this. It's always great to have a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary. So in this case, our primary is this darker blue. The secondary is this turquoise color. And then the tertiary color is this mid sort of shade of blue. Um, color carries meanings and communicates ideas. So your logo is going to be represented highly with the colors that you use. For example, this company here called Eye Compliance. From this logo instantly, with the colours that I used, we know it's something to do with the health industry. So it's always good to do a little bit of research and find out what colours represent the industry that you're in. And even if you don't want to use all the colours that are in that, possibly putting a little hint of it as your third tertiary colour would always be great. Just to give a little hint of what industry you're in if your company name doesn't hint that straight away. Point number five, typeface. Try to avoid generic typefaces because they're standard. It's something you can put together within two minutes. In this case, as you can see, we've used a different sort of type typeface here for patchwork clocks. You want something that's gonna look good, but make sure it's easy to read. So don't overdo it with something that's a complex font that's not really designed for a logo. The logo needs to be easy on the eye and easy to read. Here, it's sort of a swirly sort of font and you can obviously read it Clearly. Point number six is the final point, which I would say you want to look into this one prior to all the points that I've just mentioned. That would be researching logos. So look into the industry that you're in, find logos that you like. Um, what do you like about them? Is it the colours? Is it the design? Is it the icons that are used? This is going to be your most important factor because it will help you give, in, give yourself inspiration prior to starting that logo design. Um, and like I mentioned, your brand is important and your brand starts with this logo. Thanks for watching.